Hey y'all, thank you so much for stopping in today. My name's Julie. This is the Retro Apron Cooking Channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're interested in easy, delicious recipes on a weekly basis. Today, I'm gonna show y'all how to make Kentucky butter cake, and if that sounds delicious at all to you, stick around. In my bowl, I have three cups of all-purpose flour, and we're gonna add about one teaspoon of baking powder, and no, I don't measure. A half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of salt. Just go ahead and combine that and set it aside. We're going to turn the oven on to 350 and in a large bowl we are going to mix two cups of sugar and a cup of softened butter. Mix that until it's light and fluffy. Now we're going to add in four eggs. We're going to add them in one at a time, mixing between each. We have all those eggs in there thoroughly combined. Now we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla. And now all we have left to do is alternately add in our flour mixture and one cup of buttermilk. Add some flour mixture in there. Add some buttermilk. That is whipped to perfection. We're gonna spray our bundt pan and pour it in. Now we're going to put this in the oven for 50 to 60 minutes and then when it's almost finished is when we're going to fix our butter glaze that we're going to pour over it as soon as we take it out of the oven. Our cake is almost finished baking so we're going to go ahead and fix that gl butter glaze that we're going to pour over it once it comes out of the oven. In my saucepan I'm going to cut this on between medium and high. I'm going to add one cup of sugar, a quarter cup of water, and a half a cup of butter. We're gonna stir this constantly until the sugar dissolves completely. All right, that sugar has dissolved. We're gonna take it off the heat and add in our vanilla. All right, y'all, our cake is ready to come out of the oven. And now we're gonna use a knife and poke holes all in the top so we can pour our glaze, our butter glaze over it and let it soak in. Here we go. Now we're gonna let this soak in for 10 minutes and then we'll remove it from the pan. All right, folks, time to take this little fella out of the pan. Here is our perfect Kentucky butter cake. I'm really excited to try this. As you can see, I already took a really big piece out. That's what I'm gonna try. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try it just plain first, but then I had some peaches and I sliced them up and after I try my first bite, I'm gonna go ahead and put the peaches on top because I think it would be delicious. Add the peaches and let's see how that tastes. As you can see, I dusted just a little bit of confectioner sugar on top just because I thought it would look really pretty. All right, let's try it with the peaches now. Mmm. Oh yeah. This cake is actually perfect for any type of berry topping you would put it, wanna put on it. You can use it as strawberry shortcake or anything. That is so good. For the exact measurements and ingredients, make sure you click down below. It's going to all be listed there, or you can head on over to my Instagram page, The Retro Apron. That's all one word. It's going to be listed there as well. Thank y'all so much for stopping in. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.